Welcome back to Praise the Lord's Show. And I want to encourage you to call the number on your screen if, if Christian television has made an impact in your life or your family or a loved one. I want you to just to call. And we would love to hear the testimonies, uh, the prayer requests, but also the testimonies of what God has done in your life through, through TB and the ministry of TB and here in New Mexico of what, of what God is doing. I'm so excited about our next guest. His name is Mike Cosgrove. He's the, the uh, executive director of True North Financial Ministries. Mike, great to have you here with us today. Yeah, I'm just excited to be here. This is a, just an outstanding thing to be able to help these folks. Wonderful, wonderful ministry that they do to be able to continue to move on with God's Word. Yeah. Tell us about what God's doing through your ministry and your life and how that works with TBN. Well, in uh, True North Financial Ministries, we focus on the reality that everything that we have is God's. Yeah. Right. And that everything that we have should be focused with kingdom purpose. It's Come all on. biblically based. That's right. And, and, and that's what we're about. And with TBN, TBN does so much great stuff throughout this community. And as Pastor Hill said just a little while ago, it takes money to make those things happen. Yes, it does. So as Christian brothers and sisters, we need to understand that we need to release that. We need to let that go and let that go to work and not sit in our bank accounts or savings accounts and everything to do. And, you know, we've been talking a lot this morning about addictions and how difficult those things are for everybody. Mm -hmm. But, you know, there's other types of addictions as well. There's addictions to money. Mm -hmm. There's addictions to stuff. There's addictions to the things that we think are ours. Mm -hmm. yeah. But the Bible's different. Come on. The Bible's different. Here's That's what we've right. got. You know, it's a journey. When you go to generosity and giving and doing those things today, it's not just about that, but it's about walking in faith with Christ. Bottom line is this, God owns everything. That's what the Bible says, God owns it all. Boy, that's an easy thing to say, isn't it? Yeah. It is easy to say that God owns everything, but it's an entirely different thing to live in the reality that God owns everything. That's right. Bible says everything in the heavens and earth is yours, O Lord. Yeah. Everything. It doesn't say everything except your bank account. Come on. It doesn't say everything except your 401k. <laughs> everything yeah. is God's. That's right. If you believe that, mm. then you need to take the next step. And you need to steward that or manage that on God's behalf. Mm -hmm. And God says to manage it for the kingdom purposes. You know, Randy Elkhorn came out with a book a number of years ago called The Treasure Principle. Yeah. Wonderful yeah, book. book. It, it, he says in that book, we should live for the line and not for the dot. Mm. And we tend to do this. We tend to live as if our time right here on this earth is our eternity. And we hoard things. We hold on to things. We can't be doing that. We need to live for the, for the line, for God, yeah. not for the dot of this world. And that's eternity. And if I can take that resource that God has given me, mm. and I can approach God with an open hand and let him take out the things to be able to help, the great work that's happening right here, yeah. to be able to help with the homeless shelter, yes. to be able to do all these things, to release it without reservation, we can change the world. And that is what true generosity is all about. It's not just about going into the church and putting $5 in there. It's not about just helping one person one time. It's about the understanding that everything that we have is God's. And that we are called to release that into the kingdom to further his work without reservation. That is what True North is about. Mm. We're about putting pen to paper, not just talking about it philosophically, yeah. but putting pen to paper, looking at where you are to be able to eliminate your debt, Increase the savings to have a comfortable life, Come on. but not a life that is extravagant at the expense of the kingdom of God. That's right. That's what True North is all about. Awesome, awesome. Thank you, Mike. You know, I think, um, I think a lot of people want to be generous. Yes. I don't think it's a lack of desire. I think I a agree. lot of people want to be tithers. I agree. Six to eight percent of American Christians are tithers. But right. I think most Christians I meet say, you know, Pastor, I want to tithe. They just, we don't have enough money right? right that's always the thing <laughs> yeah. and so then you talk about budget and it looks like you know you're talking you know what i mean yeah, yeah. They just look at you well, like you're crazy the b no, word you know yeah you know? that's kind of a tough thing <laughs> we call it a spending plan it's a kinder and gentler way to be able to look at spending that plan right? <laughs> right? but you know you know the reality is is that we have been gift, given so very much from god no matter where we are and we can look down if we can just look at where the money and the resources are going yeah. and we start living within that with a spending plan or a budget and we can make decisions such as I choose not to spend so much in entertainment so I can put more to the kingdom of God. Okay. I choose not to take a vacation to wherever so that I can give that money to God. God doesn't want us to suffer, none of us. We shouldn't go, go to a point like that. But we, what we can say is, honestly, what do we need? How much do we have? Mm -hmm. We are so blessed in this country. And then when I hear people say, well, I want to give more, but I just can't. 
But when we sit down and we look at it, biblically and in reality, there's more there. Yeah. And you're able to say, look, I choose because I love Jesus. I choose not to do this so I can do this. Yeah. And it's just so important to be able to make that happen. Yeah. And with this radio station, I can't think of a better place to be able to send the money. Yeah. If Christian brothers and sisters today, they're sitting there saying, boy, I'd love to be able to give, do it. Trust God. Let that go and trust God to be able to do those things. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know, uh, many years ago, my wife and I read the book Extreme Money Makeover by Dave Ramsey. Absolutely great. And uh, it was one of the best things that ever happened to us. One of the worst things <laughs> that ever happened to us was reading <laughs> that book because you get, you get convicted. You do. And uh, we made a decision. We made a covenant that we were going to be live debt free. Great. And that was a painful decision, yes. let me tell you. And so my wife said, we can cut this and this and this. Right. And, you know, we can cut your gym and we can cut your golf and we can, <laughs> yeah. don't cut the golf, it's baby. Cut other no, 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 no. You know yeah, what I mean? It's not a problem. You know, I, I'll do your nails, baby. We can cut that, <laughs> That's but, right. That's but don't right. cut the country. You know what I mean? I, <laughs> I need to be out there. I need to be ministering to the brothers right. in the church. And that's where they want to be. It's not for me, baby. That's I'm doing right. it for them. And, right. and so she started cutting my spin, and it was like, <laughs> oh, man, you know. And that was brutal. But it took us seven years to get out of debt. We got out of debt. Praise God. Yep. We went from uh, Disneyland vacations to our, we're camping out in our living room. Yep. And we'd tell our kids, all right, we're going camping. Where? <laughs> the living room, you know. And they're like, what? Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> So, and, you know, I was like, my, my wife Karen and I went through a similar journey where we were, we were living the, the secular life. You know, we yeah. sure we gave to the church a little bit here and there, kind of a cursory giving. And we were in debt and we had all these things. And according to the world, we were successful. Yeah. Eight years ago, we gave that up. We started to live the biblical way. Oh, give those yeah. things to God. Got ourselves out of debt by living on a budget. Yeah. Prayed every day that God would be involved in his finances because they're not my finances. And it enabled us to be able to open up our hands and be able to share more than we ever have in our entire lives. And it is a blessing for yeah. us to be able to do that. And, you know, people say, well, you're going to bless other people. And you do when you give to all these folks that need help, the, the homeless. And it is a blessing to do that. But you know what? I get more out of it than they do. Yeah. So get a handle on it and, and think about it this way. God owns everything. We are his managers. And if we manage it on kingdom behalf, we open up our hands and we become generous without fear. That's what's important. Thank you, Mike. God bless you. Thank you, Mike. So I want